the life, this ain't the life. Are you reading me, sis? <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season, I don't know, episode one. I do know that. Girl, are you reading me, sis? I know I'm late, girl. My eye is finally back, almost back to normal. And I'm feeling myself, and I am screaming at K. Michelle trying to literally fight somebody with an IV stuck in her arm. K. Michelle is back, her booty is left. But, girl, let's go and get into this recap of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season, whatever episode, I don't know. The artist formerly known as K. Michelle is now Kimberly. Girl, she's trying to do a rebrand. But, girl, you still out here doing bullshit ass Memphis behavior, girl. The girl's I'll keep calling you, K. Michelle, because you still out here stirring the damn pot and jumping your flat booty ass in the back. Girl, what's the tea? But I live for you, sis. Girl, she's sitting down having a powwow with all these folks. We got Bridget. She back for what reason? We don't know. Who? I don't even know who Bridget is. Supposed. What's her storyline? Who gives a damn? You wrote some good songs, but don't nobody give a damn. <laughs> Our girl Moniz is back, girl. Her and that white... um. Girl, I don't know her name. They back together or something. Girl, it's just a whole bunch. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood is about to bring it to us this season. I can feel it. The first two episodes have already been good. I just watched both of them again. I've seen the first one a couple of times, but I said, girl, I'm not going to be in here dragging the shit out of K and my alley like it went flat too. K. Michelle is telling the girls that Lyrica was late to her performance. She said, girl, I waited on her and she didn't show up. She didn't show up and I'm trying to see what the tea is. K. Michelle and her spilling the tea and Lyrica you know, see a girl look like this meet up. So Lyrica and K Michelle meet up and my thing is why y'all hugging if y'all don't like each other? K Michelle, your fake ass. You done hug. What's up, fake asshole? She done hug Lyrica. She said, girl, you know, you is spoiled. And you wrote some good songs, but don't nobody give a damn. Lyrica like, girl, is this in the damn pamphlet? This is not what Mona Scott told me to be prepared for. Be prepared for the Queen of Reeds, K Michelle, because she coming with the shade. She dragging Lyrica and just telling her, like, girl, you wrote some cute songs. You got a cute bob, but don't nobody give a damn. Lyrica said, bitch, ain't your ass about to motherfucking have you dead to the bed? <laughs> She's like, girl, you right here laying up in a hospital bed because your booty is about to burst, girl. I'm going to burst your bubble. Girl, like, they reading K. Michelle, like, just, I can't, I cannot deal with you in this IV situation. I had to turn this shit off because y'all know I cannot, girl, apparently I don't like the sight of blood. I don't like to see blood because I couldn't watch that shit, girl. I hope they didn't have that shit connected to her damn arm. Girl, Lyrica come back, they trying to fight K. Michelle. K. Michelle trying to literally fight this girl. Like, girl, what is you doing, sis? Are you reading me, sis? Miss Nigga Baby is back and plastic as ever. She throwing a little power, power there, some shit, I don't know, I, I really don't. We can get rid of uh, Miss Nikki Baby and Bridget, okay? We can get rid of both of these white women. Apparently, Miss Nikki Baby is cool with Paris or something, girl. Y'all remember Paris? Paris and K. Michelle go way back until she was charging her damn car or something shit and trying to get some Uber Eats and shit. Girl, Paris, sis, I don't give a damn. Are you stealing from me, sis? I don't give a damn how much money I got on this bitch. I can have a quarter on my goddamn counter. If your ass pick that shit up and walk out my damn house and take that shit without telling me or asking me, we gonna have a damn problem, girl. It's not about you, you know, how much money it was. It's just that the principal, like, girl, I can't apparently leave shit around you or I can't let you have access to my shit because you gonna steal from me. And that shit ain't cool. I don't care how Paris is trying to frame that shit. That shit just ain't right. So Paris trying to make sure she's secure for her next season. Girl, she said, I'm gonna be uh, Miss Charade to the bullshit. I'm gonna like drop this pen. Homegirl said, Whenever I see uh, Moniece, to let her know. So, girl, she just being messy as hell, telling Princess, Princess popping up, dragging the shit out of damn Moniece's ass. Moniece calling that girl a damn child, a damn demon seed. Bitch, we would have been fighting if it had been. Girl, you ain't gonna call my unborn child a damn demon seed. That shit was disrespectful as hell. And you know, Princess has already had issues. We know with pregnancy and all that type of stuff. I don't know if it's Ray J shooting out blanks or whatever uh, Princess got going on. But that was just a demon seed, girl. That shit was disrespectful. Moni's trying to go through the back door fighting. 
girl, I sis, I good Judy, Mr. Ray, got these damn individuals, girl, no ma'am, bitch, we ain't feeling it at all, I don't know who told you, are you trying to fool us, sis, girl, she done came back, I guess she said, girl, since Moesha gonna be showing up, let me make sure I got some individuals to write in my journal this episode, too, girl, then they done turned around and brought so Lucci back, girl, the crunk ass caterpillar is back, bitch, if you don't get your crunk ass praying mantis looking ass, Back? Why is Solo Lucha back? He didn't bring nothing for us other than that storyline with Miss Nikki, baby girl. The storylines are kind of all over the place. I'm just not understanding how we're going to have all this going on. But I can tell that Mona Scott said, girl, listen, the producers over at Love and Hip Hop said, girl, we got some good tea. We're going to make sure that we actually spend some coin this season. The queen of cookbooks is back, T.L. Marie, girl. We're going to need you to take that pancake batter that you got on your face and actually come up with a pancake recipe, girl. We didn't already talk about this, girl. Can you get it together? Because, girl, I ain't, I, I ain't understanding that whole storyline that you got going on with that guy and what he did. Like, yeah, my heart goes out to you and a napkin is provided for you, too, so you can clean that shit up off of your face. But, girl, that was way too much. Like, this love and hip, like I said, Mona Scott and them said, girl, we got an extra coin. We got a whole bunch of mess. We got a whole bunch of folks dealing with a whole bunch of Extra shit. Solo Lucci is performing for whatever reason. He performed some song that a loving hip hop didn't even play that much before they went to commercial break. Girl, they played this shit for five seconds. Five seconds to finish. Girl, then we get introduced to another character, Miss Apple. What her name is? Apple Music. <laughs> Miss Apple Watch. Girl, she twerking and shit, twerking it for daddy, twerking it and shit. And I'm like, okay, what has this got to do with anything? Apparently, She's going to be um, in the storyline with A1 because, girl, she twerking it for daddy all on sis. Like, she doing this, and then homegirl that walked in, literally walked up and said, hello. Girl, she done pulled a damn Rashida or some shit to myself. What the hell is going on? So she immediately smacking folk. Apple Music, like, girl, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, I'm trying to rap. I got some good songs, but don't nobody give a damn. Girl, you damn right, honey, girl, because you had them two sticks in your bun, bitch, and you got two minutes of fame on this damn show, so you better make it work, sis. Uh, Miss Apple Watts, Miss Apple Music, girl, uh, m -m Maybach Music, girl, I just, <laughs> uh, 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 Apple Music, girl, I just cannot, I don't know, um, Apple Watts, she's looking like she real cool, uh, being introduced to her, girl, she said that she got a little girl, well, she has a friend friend <laughs> that's helping her watch her kids and shit, but she said she ain't giving her no coochie. And then we get introduced to Lily. Girl, I know I'm all over the place, but I just got to talk about how crazy this episode was. Lily apparently is a lesbian or whatever. She has not said she is, but I'm assuming she is. That's probably why Apple Music has said, we ain't smashing. Girl, you done found you one of them damn lesbians that's paying your damn bills, bitch. I need one right now, okay, <laughs> bitch? I need her to help me out. Can you cash at me at Kingaree's? Uh, but, you know, Apple wants, Apple wants us to know that she is not in a relationship. She ain't doing nothing. She just out here helping me. Girl, we don't believe that shit. Y'all bumping coochies. Song it and put on her damn Chris Jenner wig and she's sitting up in the house waiting on Ray J to come in like you got a lot going on, you're embarrassing the family, and I need to understand what your wife, what she's doing, is she pregnant? Are y'all together? Because she's embarrassing the family. Um, Sonya, let me take a step back, girl, so you can take your wig off so I can actually have a conversation with you real quick. Because, sis, I don't know who you think you is, but, Sonya, y'all credibility is already all over the place, girl. Princess has already dragged the shit and said, girl, Moesha ain't been in a relationship longer than three months. Um, your, your husband dick all over the damn internet. If that ain't enough, you worried about her deleting pictures and Ray J got his whole dick in a damn wipe on the mouth who don't even know how to put it in correctly. Like, girl, it's a whole bunch of foolishness. Like, Sonya, she sitting up there like she the damn godfather waiting up on shit. Like, girl, what you doing? Girl, go sit your ass down with this damn SOS pad wig. And girl, now that I think about my ass over here laughing because when Apple um, finally showed up, Apple Music ass popped up, Girl, I thought they were Black China Mama. <laughs> Then we get to my favorite part. Girl, K. Michelle and A1. A1 said, I need to go talk to K. Michelle. So they sit down, I guess, at K. Michelle's house. Maybe Mona Scott and gave her house or some shit. They sit down. A1 confront uh, K. Michelle. K. Michelle said, Girl, I ain't trying to hide shit. I've been said that your, your girlfriend or your wife, your fake ass marriage, that shit ain't the tea. And she right here bouncing on Safari Dick, my big dick friend. You need to get that together. A1, like, bitch, I know you lying. She said, Girl, no, I'm not, sis. And your girlfriend ain't talented. She just ain't that girl. So A1 said, Girl, 
You can't even sing, bitch, and you banned from radio. They know that's the, the talk of the town. They've been saying Kate Michelle has been blackballed. Ain't nobody playing her music on the radio. I think that shit is kind of true because I do not hear Kate Michelle music at all. Bitch, I don't think they're playing that shit in Memphis, and Memphis don't even have no more damn radio stations now. Girl, why came down to 7 in the morning team at? I think they still there. Well, they, oh yeah, they gone, girl. They, they shut this shit down. See what y'all should have been doing. Y'all should have been, <laughs> y'all should have had a bitch like me in that motherfucker too while y'all doing that Miss Leonard bullshit and that damn, I don't know what type of silly shit, but that shit is over with. But, um, K. Michelle, girl, that's what they saying about you. And A1 just dragging, dragging the hell out of her saying that he had to, um, melodyne her damn vocals. Now, K. Michelle, there is one performance I know that, that was trash and that was when you performed on Wendy, girl. That shit sounded a hot ass mess. But I've heard K. Michelle sing live and she sounds great. Um, she smells good too. That's how close up on her I was, but uh, to hear K. Michelle can't sing in the studio live and she was dragging Tamar, hmm, that's kind of questionable. This season of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood gonna be all over the place. A1 jumping over table trying to beat bitches' asses and shit. He gonna be confronting Safari. Apple Watch claiming she still ain't bouncing on this damn woman's vagina and shit. Just a whole bunch of newfangled shit. I'm trying to see what the hell Tierra Marie gonna be doing. Um, Donatello, no Versace is back for whatever reason. Solo Lucho here, girl. It's just a whole bunch of shit. But y'all tell me what y'all thought about this first episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, and I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.